Hello everyone, Warnight Gamer 4 here, back with another Armored Core 6 video. And starting off from the conclusion of the previous chapter, we destroyed a giant ice worm, and now it's time to invade the area I was defending. But before that, I do a bit of the new arena missions that opened up, of which all the fights that I fought in there, the last one of this section was kind of annoying. It was a pretty big close call on that one. And then next up on the list of missions that we have to do, we gotta make our way down the elevator. And of course it isn't as simple as it sounds because there's a giant laser at the very bottom. But it's pretty easy to make your way down with the cover that is provided on the side. Of course I need to time my falls right because if I don't, I just get obliterated. But once you reach the bottom, you pretty much just destroy the thing and it's mission complete. Second mission is to further explore Watchpoint Alpha. Here we get ambushed by G5 Iguayasu. Which isn't much of a problem to deal with, fortunately. And deal with whatever else bullshit the area has to provide. Also I got lost a bit trying to find a ventilation opening. Here. And unfortunately I have to puff in a bunch of electrical fart clouds that damage me. And reaching the end I gotta deal with with the places enforcement system. With the new little shoulder turret that I had, the first attempt wasn't that bad. That is until I get destroyed by the shockwave attack. Damn it! I was able to beat him in the second attempt, but it was an exchange, so it didn't count. Oh, and it exploded too. Third time's the charm, and I was just staying on his ass for the entire fight. There were a few close calls here and there, but overall everything went swell. But if the boss defeated, it's time for the next part of Watchpoint Alpha. Which requires me to turn off an electrical grid that is completely defended by laser snipers. Whoa. After dealing with the laser snipers and exploring a bit, I was able to get a new weapon. Next up, I go inside the structure. Destroy the core. And at the point of which, I had no more ammo because of all the things I did outside. Destroying it. 
and then go into a bit of physical combat with the enemy. Unfortunately, I got out of the corner and I ended up dying in that attempt. Second time went much smoother because of all the ammo I was able to recover. Afterwards, we escaped the exploding building. And after that, I gained access to one of the final parts of the arena, which is the S rank enemies. And I gotta say, I had almost no trouble against them. I'm pointing out the final enemies of the arena, which is supposed to be the toughest of the tough. Go, my little turn, go! Were actually much easier for me than the previous categories. Because if I do recall, in the rank C battles, I actually died quite a few times. But in the S rank battles right here, zero. I just know I'm not the only one using the little turn. At least I think I was. No, he does use the little mobile ones. One. And with the arena finish, I get the little laser buddies that the last guy was using. Back to the main missions, I'm at a crossroad again. And for this one, I decide to ambush the Vespers. These guys are actually pretty tough if you don't bring out the right loadout. And it's best to focus your attention on one of the guys while the other one is distracted. And with the other one defeated, we move on. And in the next mission, we gotta do a survey of the new area and deal with an enemy AC that's been following us for the past I don't know how long. Down here, I have to deal with a bunch of worms that explode and fight the enemy AC that was following us, which is Rusty. And unfortunately, in the first attempt, I wasted all my ammo and repair kits on the worms. So I failed pretty hard here. But on the second try, it was a full-on battle. And with Rusty defeated, we discover an entire underground city down here. Now we destroy any affiliation that we had with the companies and eliminate any enemy that gets in our way while exploring the city, which just happens to be two enemy ACs. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just save it? Aww. <laughs> No, you just stood in the corner. Too risky. Commander, need to stay. Please come in. This is Vaderlin. Please stay. Come in. The Vespers left her for dead. That wasn't pretty. And also, now it's time to say hello to one of the most annoying normal enemies in the game. It's pretty much the Dark Souls 1 bone wheel skeletons, but they have missiles and a flamethrower. They're pretty weak enemies, but goddamn they pack quite a punch. And funny enough, when we take them down, there's a weapon cache here that has moonlight. And if you played previous From Software games, I'm pretty sure you know what that references. Now it's time to move forward a bit and deal with another enemy that gets in my way. And now it's time to fight one of the most annoying bosses I ever had the displeasure of battling. Can't wait to die. One more job for you. I would like everyone to meet Mecha Melania. Very annoying to get close to, can easily stagger me, and packs quite a damn punch. Goes with a damn light show while fighting it. First attempt did not go so well. And for the rest of the tries, I decided to swap my load out a few times. Eventually, I was able to take it down with the pistols that I usually use in the arena. Enemy. 
But of course, it's not over yet because it has a phase two. Hooray! No. <laughs> and this phase two is worse of a light show than the first one. I died numerous times because of how easily I can get staggered. Dan, I can't take it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this death montage for a while. that entire death montage, the build that I stuck with the most was the double shotgun build. My shoulder weapon could have been a bit better, like the dual cannons, but I decided to stick with the following laser turrets. For the second phase, the strategy didn't really change at all. Just get really close and hope I don't get Wombo combo to death. Dodging the giant energy plane attack is as simple as just staying in the air and hoping for the best. Oh my god, where'd it go? There, and after so many tries, it goes down. Die. Yes. Holy hell, that was a very difficult fight for me. And after all that fighting, I got captured. Dude, our character cannot catch a break. The expenses, man, look at the expenses. Anyway, with that part of the mission done, it's time to make a prison break. Meaning that I have to use a very shitty AC for this part. Look at this, I'm barely doing any damage. And after getting outside and activating a beacon, I just get pretty much bullied left and right because of how little stance this thing has. And after defeating the last little enemies in the area, I get extracted. And after doing that little dance at the end, I get no money from it. Get what I'm pretty sure is the worst armor in the game. And then that concludes chapter 4, meaning that it's now time for the next chapter, but that's for the next video. Overall, I enjoyed this chapter, but anyways, this has been Warnight Gamer 4, and make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification for alerts when I post a new video. And thanks for watching this video, and my previous videos if you have as well. Later.
that you're still alive means that Walter made the 